What's going on guys? So I am super excited because I am out here in St. Louis, Missouri at eTrailers headquarters to talk to you about an exciting new product launch. This is gonna be really cool. But before we do that, let's talk about what you're looking at in front of you. So this right here is something that is no stranger to my channel. This is something that I have featured on my channel several times. And the big perk of what you're looking at is how it can help you tow safer, more effectively, as well as control the potential for sway and many other things that you could deal with when you're towing a trailer or even when you're getting a trailer ready for towing. This is a tongue weight scale. This permits you to specifically see how much tongue weight is resting on the back of your vehicle. When I got this in from the folks over at eTrailer, I went out to an RV dealership and we played a game. It was a guessing game to see if you could guess how much tongue weight was transferring to the front or the tongue of travel trailers. Several different RVs. I think we probably went through about 12 of them. And the interesting thing here is it was typically much more weight than you thought. That was kind of the consensus of everything is that this helped people determine that boy, even though we want that 10% or maybe at max 15%, some of these RVs had 15% or more of tongue weight being transferred to the back of a vehicle before you even loaded it up, basically off of the RV dealership lot. So this is the Gen 1 version of this tongue weight scale. Very, very cool, has a lot of great features. One of the cool perks of this first version, besides the fact that it's all aluminum, is that it supports up to 2,000 pounds worth of scaling. It has a removable foot plate down here, which you can simply pull this clip out, pop it out of its base. You can flip it over and you can actually attach this to the typical front two inch tongue jack spot that you have on your RV or on your trailer. And you can have it as kind of a, a semi-permanent attachment there so you know what your weight is without having, to, without having to put this underneath the coupler. Basically, it would act as the foot for your tongue jack, which is really cool. Now, this specific model has a lot of great perks. It works really well. I've been using one of these for a while. But what some people may not know is that I've actually been working with the folks over at eTrailer for a branding opportunity for the next generation of this product, which I'm about to show you. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So here it is, the Generation 2 BTBRV tongue weight scale. Now this is gonna be exclusively through the folks over at eTrailer. This is a branding product. Basically means that this product is produced by a manufacturer but branded as the BTBRV tongue weight scale. It even has it on the gauge up here, which is really nice. You can pretty quickly see the differences between this one and the first generation. There's a lot of perks, but you know what? I think the best way to do this would be to actually have both of them side by side. So the first generation had a lot of really, really great features to it. I think one of the biggest features, again, is the fact that you can take this assembly off and you can attach it to the tongue jack that you might already have on your trailer. The challenge I saw with that is the fact that you don't wanna have constant pressure on something like this all the time. So it would typically require you to take this off whenever you're done and put your normal tongue jack foot back on, which this was actually something people left in the comment section as more of a challenge than a perk. So the Gen 2 version has a fixed foot but one thing that you all asked for and we got with the manufacturer to make sure it was included is the ability for you to raise it up. So that is really cool. This was a feature a lot of people wanted because you may have your trailer at a specific angle with the coupler a certain distance off of the ground. And when you're using this one, you either had to raise your coupler up, put this underneath and lower it down, or whenever your trailer was semi-level, this was either too high or too low and you'd have to lower your coupler down. And the concern for some folks is that would throw off how much weight was actually being transferred. It would increase the weight too much by doing that if your trailer wasn't completely flat. We actually debunked that. We, uh, we went out and we specifically weighed trailers seeing if how much forward it tipped made a huge impact in terms of coupler weight, and it didn't. It made a very small impact, and in some cases it made no impact at all. But I do know that there could be cases where that could happen. So part of the design element here was that it could be adjustable. Very, very cool. It's a spring adjustment, very, very well built, and it snaps into place, and you have, look at this, 
four different height adjustments. One, two, three, and the spot that it's in right now. So that is really cool, and it gives it a decisive height advantage over this one if you are gonna be measuring a coupler that's higher off the ground. One other thing, of course, you're gonna notice now is how much of the BTBRV colors are included, black and red. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Has a really, really nice finish to the whole thing. I love the background, how it's black, and it has the white contrasting numbers and letters here with the BTBRV logo down here. We're gonna demonstrate this product in a few minutes, but before we get to that, the one thing you absolutely wanna keep in mind are the safety precautions and the things necessary if you plan on using something like this. Like always chalking the wheels of your RV, always doing this on level ground. You never want the chance that, you know, whenever you drop the coupler weight down on here, you're on a hill or a slope and it's gonna roll. So you always wanna be on flat level ground. You wanna chalk your tires just so you don't have any pressure that could cause it to pitch one way or the other once you take the weight off of the tongue jack. But most importantly, just make sure you've gone through and practiced good common sense. Make sure the pin is fully in. Make sure you don't see any type of damage, dents, rust, things that could potentially cause a failure prematurely. You wanna take all the correct precautions to make sure that if you are gonna be lowering the coupler of your trailer on here, that you have as stable a platform as possible. And we've tried to integrate many of those characteristics into this. I think the next step is to show you a sneak peek at a product that will also be coming out with the BTBRV branding on it. Okay, so this right here is a product that will be coming out relatively soon. As far as the stickers and logos, these are all kind of preliminary and we have the ability to kind of change the orientation of these, how it goes on here. We're still trying to figure out exact placement of the logo right here, but this is going to be a light duty version. So this right here is gonna have a price tag under $200 for the heavy duty version, which goes up to 2000 pounds. But there will also be a light duty version, which will have a capacity of 1000 pounds, and it will cost under $100. So that is really, really cool that we have a more economical version for those of you who have lighter duty trailers, maybe a smaller cargo trailer, maybe something you haul around toys in. If you're gonna be hauling it with your RV or behind a motorhome, perhaps you have a smaller RV that has a gross vehicle weight in the 6,000 pound range and you wanna be able to have something smaller, a little bit lower profile to carry around and you just don't wanna spend as much. This, again, this option right here is gonna be a $100 or less option, which is really cool. Again, this one right here will be under $200, but it will probably be between that $160 to $200 price point. And this is your lightweight up to 1,000 pounds. This is your heavy duty up to 2,000 pounds. And I think the branding for this is gonna be the LD and the HD for light duty and heavy duty. And some of you may say, well, is this one gonna be available for a while? It will be. So they're still ordering these. I think they're gonna order them for a little while. And if you want this to have the ability to connect to the bottom of your tongue jack, if you like this removable characteristic, this will be something that is currently available as well. But now that we have the second generation heavy duty version and the second generation light duty version, I think that uh, these are definitely gonna be the big sellers. Now, something else that I think is really important is to understand what they did with the gauge here. So this was based off of feedback from you all, but it was something that was really important to me. And that was to put the quarter ton, half ton, three quarter ton, and one ton designations there. Now, this specifically isn't designed to say half ton truck, three quarter ton truck, one ton truck, but it gives you at least a pretty good idea of when you should start approaching that next heavy version of a vehicle, when you should start approaching a weight range that might be too heavy for one truck versus another. Of course, these designations simply mean that you are at a quarter ton or a half ton or a three quarter ton or one ton, but at the same time, this does give you a lot of data to help you better prepare for perhaps the type of truck or SUV you might be using to tow your trailer. But I absolutely love that gauge feature. That is really nice. What do you guys think? You know, what do you think of the features? Most of these features were inspired by you, the viewer, who left comments saying, hey, can you do this or that to it? The big one was the adjustability. The big one was the ability for this to adjust up or down to be able to work with different heights of trailer couplers without having to adjust your trailer coupler height too much. And then the other part was the ability to put a snap pad on the bottom of it. That was also a viewer inspired feature that we were able to get the manufacturer to do. What do you think of the color combination on it? 
And something else that is really cool, and it was something that I absolutely recommended we do as well, is to include a bag anytime you purchase this jack. So you will have this BTBRV bag that you can either get with the jack or you can purchase separately if you want. But if you order this jack, it's actually gonna come with this BTBRV bag because we all know sometimes when you're towing, sometimes when you have equipment, you don't have a good home for it. And they wanted to be able to protect it to give you a bag to carry this around if you're gonna keep it in the bed of your truck, if you're gonna keep it inside of your truck to have a way of protecting it, as well as keeping it out of the elements. And honestly, it's just a really, really cool bag to be able to carry with you. And you can purchase this bag separately if you want as well, but if you get this new jack, it's gonna come with this bag. And for those of you wondering if you get the bag with this tongue jack, unfortunately you don't because this tongue jack comes in at such an aggressive price that we wanted to be sure that we kept that price as low as possible. Believe it or not, because this one is a slightly more expensive unit, we were able to fit it and bundle it in with the bag at no additional cost. So just keep that in mind. Now, something else I wanna mention is the fact that e-trailer exclusively will be carrying a lineup of BTBRV branded products soon. So everything that will be branded BTBRV will have a unique color combination to it, but more importantly, it will be specific to the types of things that you can use for towing, trailers, as well as safety. That's what everything is really built around, towing, trailers, and safety. We wanna make sure that anything that carries the BTBRV brand on it is something that is specific to what folks who watch my channel would be interested in, would be needing and have been asking for. So hopefully you enjoy the stuff that comes out. We'll do video content on all of it so you are aware. And again, all of it will be sold, supported, warrantied, all of that stuff directly through e-trailer. So you will be backed up by a company who takes customer service and support and wants to work with their neighbors to the best of their capability and takes all of that very, very seriously. Okay, so as we make our way out to the trailer to test this thing out, that will be the next video. We wanted to use this one as kind of a product launch, but definitely come back so you can see how this works and how functional it is and how much more convenient it is than the last model. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.